And now we're going to look at number 18. 18 is the next lowest. That was also 71%. So 71%. It says here, what is the sum of this infinite geometric series? Well, this one really helps us out. It tells us it's infinite. So we can go to our formula chart here. Uh, formula chart, where are we? Formula chart. And it says geometric. So I know I'm using that formula. So I'll copy that down. A n equals a one r to the power of n minus one. It says the word sum, which means I'm going to replace the a n equals all this portion right here with the sigma. So that sigma is going to replace that. So I'll have sigma, and then I'll put this in parentheses. Okay. So let me take the sigma away there. Uh, so all of that, this portion right here, got replaced by the sigma. And we'll start with the sigma n equals one. And now when it says the word infinite, that we're gonna say is approximately saying there's a thousand of these for the sake of the calculator, a thousand. All right, so now going to the problem. A1 is this term right here. So we'll plug that in, negative seven divided by eight. R, if you remember, it's being multiplied, so we'll put it in parentheses. R is the second term that's given divided by the first term. So it'd be seven six divided by negative seven eighths. Now, uh, when you type this in Desmos, it's tricky to get this because it's a, a fraction divided by a fraction. It's easy to mess it up. So what I'm going to do is put this in parentheses to make sure I do not mess this part up. So this parenthesis divided by this parenthesis. It'll make it a lot simpler. So let's go to the Desmos calculator here. And I'm going to type in in parentheses, seven divided, divided by six. And then I'm going to divide that by parentheses, negative seven divided by eight negative seven divided by eight. And so there it is as a decimal. I'm gonna click the fraction button. It's negative four thirds, negative four thirds. Uh, or you could use negative 1.333, where those just repeat over and over. Okay, so I'm gonna use negative four thirds. I'll put that in as my R to the power of N minus one. And for Desmos, you need to put that in parentheses. So that's what I'm gonna type in the calculator. So SUM sum n equals one to a thousand. Our first term we had was negative, oops, negative seven divided by eight times the ratio we got of negative four thirds. And all this was raised to the power of n minus one. So I'll put that in parentheses, n minus one. And that's right there, the, the sum. And you can see this number is three point all this times 10 to the, it's three with basically 124 zeros after it, just an extremely large number. This is going to infinity, which is not a real number. For that reason, you would say the infinite sum does not exist. The answer choice is D.